Hey guys, this is Snack Attack 8, and I'm panicking because <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure that this game is going to expect me to do a disc change in a minute, and I am just now realizing that I have, I'm moving soon, and I've packed the disc. I've packed the case for Final Fantasy 8. So I'm going to have to go dig in, I think. Is 5302... The furthest back, 5216. That was in Trabia Garden. We can overwrite that. Okay. Am I changing the disc? Yeah, I guess so. Well, as much as I love doing the on-screen disc changes, ladies and gentlemen, uh, there's no way it's going to be that quick. So, um... So why don't, I'm going to direct you guys all over to the beautiful uh, site over there at www.squaresoft.com. Um, you can go check that out. I'm sure there's a lot going on over there still. Um, while you go and do that, check out some hot tips on FF8. Or maybe pop uh, whatever that boy band CD is into your portable CD Walkman. Um, find a way to entertain yourselves. I'll be right back with more of the game. Way down upon the Swanee River, starting this tree. We gotta find out what the plot will deliver on Final Fantasy. Sing it with me, kids! Alright. Put disc two back. I got my back turned to the screen. Oh my god, is it over? Me every day. <laughs> All right, <laughs> we're we're back. It wasn't that bad. I didn't have to dig that much. I had to dig a little bit. I didn't have to dig that much. Who is it over? What happened? <laughs> Renoa. What happened to Renoa? Why do we? Is this how we started disc two? Also, Squall is just always in bed. They really like there was some Evangelion stuff in Final Fantasy seven, but this is very this hits very Evangelion to me. The unfamiliar ceiling, the whole waking up in the in the hospital room, all that. Um, I don't know. Hopefully, Renault is not comatose here. Otherwise, I would hope things don't go in the Evangelion direction, but. That's all, the shade I get with Squall in the bed is very much that. He just needs a little, like, a tape recorder thing with music on it. Squall, can you hear me? Head to Adia's house at once. What? Matron's back at the orphanage, huh? Reno, are you okay? Do, do you like Cypher more than me? No. Oh. <laughs> Alright, well, we'll find out. Um... Okay, so okay, so this is a new episode. So welcome back, welcome back to the show. How are we doing here? We're all still dying. I might as well go take a sleep in my room. Um, let's just check out. Let's see what's going on. So we, we got Fortnite here, our guardian force, who's got a spirit junction, and that's the really the only stat junction it looks like he has. He's also got ability times three, which is good. And elemental defense times four, which could just let us resist a ton of stuff. Revive. Which is maybe like a Phoenix Down, like a res type ability. What's med data? Doubles the effect of medicine. Okay. Well, I guess we'll get him boost to bat. Oh man, refine high level magic from other magic. Whew. Fortnite, you're our, you're our guy. We gotta figure out what we can do with that. I forgot refining was even a concept in this game. <laughs> um, because we're already so strong. Alright, so it's been a little while since we've heard this music. It's not been a little while since we were back in the garden. We've been here a lot recently. Um, but we were under attack last time. Now everything seems to be fine. I guess if we're still in the same place of the world, Adia's house is the orphanage ruin. But let me, um... Oh, no, no, I want to sleep in my bed. I'm going back to sleep, you guys. <laughs> Damn it. I'm over this shit. Okay, and we'll just do a save. Just another save. 
Let's save over this. Why not? That was five hours ago. Though it's probably been more like two, possibly, if even that. I leave this game on a lot. And it really racks up the time on the play file as I take a sip of water. But man, we're on disc three now, so you know how Final Fantasies usually go. Um, or at least if Final Fantasy nine is anything to go by, disc four is probably just gonna be end game stuff and a bunch of FMVs. So we're really more or less in the last third of the game, I would say. Or we're fa that quickly approaching the last third of the game. Do I need to go back up to control? Or can I just run out the front of the garden? See what we can do. It's on the third floor, right? Who am I asking? Who's gonna answer that question for me? I'm too used to streams where there's people I can talk to. I feel like a crazy person. Uh, talking to myself after being off of videos for so long. But that just brings out the quality in these videos, I think. Mage, everyone keeps saying this, huh? I guess it was Kistis that said it before. Let's go, Captain Nita. I'm gonna need ya to make sense of this game for me because I, I don't know, I don't know what's going on. Renoa's, oh, Renoa's in the sick bed. The sick bay, Doctor Katawaki's office or whatever, whatever her name is. <laughs> All right, and. Where's the... How do I drive this thing again? Well, that's not how. There we go. I mean, it's not like I couldn't have walked here, but... You know we would have encountered a battle or something annoying. Okay, so we get to see what this place looks like now, at least. I'm figuring Adia had to be under some kind of spell. There's some sort of dark sway, maybe, that comes from being a sorceress. Because didn't um, Norg or someone say that, like, Sid knew what what could happen one day when um, he married Adia. Oh man, look at this. Big old field. This is not what the continent looks like at all here. It's a cool looking screen though. What do you guys got to say? There's so much we want to ask the matron. I'll go after you, Squall. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. I guess we just gotta go into the house. Why does this place look like a coliseum? <laughs> or like, it's got that very uh, Greek architecture. There's Sid. I guess we shouldn't doubt that we would find you here. Many thanks for your hard work. Ha 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 ha. Are you angry with me? I don't blame you. All I do is talk big, but in times of trouble, I run away. Yes, yeah, Sid, where were you in that battle? I was in a no-win situation. Your defeat would be the end of you. Your victory would mean losing my wife. I just couldn't bear to face either outcome. I don't care about myself, but please forgive Adia. So if Adia was good all along, who's the bad guy? Who's I was just talking smack on Adia being big bad. Well... If Adia's not big bad, then that would make more sense. We need to take another one of those seed tests soon, too. I haven't done one of those in a minute. I mean, I have a ton of money. How much money do we have? 200,000 gil? That's a lot. <laughs> you don't really have to spend it for anything in this game, either. It's very just a peculiar game. So here's Sid again. Here's the beach. We remember this. And there's Adia. My children, please forgive me. I raised you as my own, yet still I... Yeah, it's cool just what happened. We feel the same way. We fought knowing very well you are our matron. That was the only choice we had left. Matron? Matwin? You are seeds. You cannot back out of a battle, I know. You are magnificent. It's not over yet. At any time, I may... Okay, what? I've been possessed. Okay, all right, here we go. Possessed all this time. Well, no shit. I was at the mercy of... S mercy of... S the I was at the merciress of sorceress, Ultimicia. 
just sounds like a very ultimate B. Oh my god, here we go! Here we go! Ultimecia is a sorceress from the future, many generations ahead of our time. I'm sure she is. And her ultimate objective, Ultimecia's ultimate objective, is to find Elone. She's after Elone's mysterious power. I knew Elone very well. well. Elone was the big sis, right? The Onesan at the uh, at the orphanage with us. Ultimecia is a very fearful sorceress. Her heart is filled with anger and hate. There was no way I was going to let Ultimecia get a hold of Elone. The only thing I could do was surrender my soul to her and lose control of my mind. That was the only way I could save her. Okay. And the end result, well, you all know. But we just, we met with Alone recently. She's doing okay. The sorceress that appeared in Galbadia was in fact Ultimecia inside my shell. Okay. So she, she's like attacking from the future to get alone. Okay. I plan to make a stand this time, but if that does not work, I may have to face you in battle again. Ask for your support, young seeds. I want more about this story. We, yeah, we've heard of Sorceress Adele briefly. She's, she's like a lore character in this universe. She was the ruler of Esther during the Sorceress War, right? There's been no news about her. Galbadia faced Esther in the Sorceress War, and that's that's all that all ha was happening in Laguna's time. The Galbadians must have thought I was the Sorceress who received Adele's powers. However, that is not the case. I received the powers of the previous Sorceress at the age of five. What is What does any of this mean? I believe Sorceress Adele is still alive and that Ultimecia released my body in order to possess hers? Yeah. So who is it is like is alone maybe like the reincarnation of Adele or something is that why Sorceress Adele is the type who will not re hesitate to use her powers for her own selfish desires should Ultimecia from the future bequeath her anger and hatred unto Del Adele their power would be unimaginable are we going to have to time travel is Final Fantasy 8 going to freaking pull the time travel rug out from under me is that where we're going <laughs> I just have no idea Okay, so we're now, we're, okay, we don't have any more new dialogue. What's up, Kistis? How you, how you handling all this? I guess these guys aren't even, won't even talk. They're that shook by all this stuff. Am I going to use this scene for uh, a thumbnail again? I don't know. It's really pretty. This is just a nice environment, this beachside. Please listen to what Adia has to say. Yeah. All right, so now, okay, so we're, we're piecing it all together now. Yeah, okay, I heard what Matron had to say. Renoa. Do you know what's wrong with Renoa? Oh, unless, uh, Ultimisi is gonna take hold of Renoa or something. The girl in the light blue? It's more of a royal blue, I'd say, but I remember vaguely what happened to her. <laughs> She was with us when we fought you after the battle. Her body was cold. She didn't move. And what happened to Cypher, too? <laughs> no! Forgive me, Squall. I don't think I can be of any help. It's all right. Okay, the other students at Garden have a right to know about the outcome of the battle and what's to come. Yeah, but I mean, I still really don't know what's going on, Sid, so <laughs> there's only but so much I can do right now. Take whatever information you can get here back to the Garden. Remember, it wasn't just Renoa. Everyone fought. I understand, but... But, but, but. No buts, no cuts, no coconut squall. What? Ugh, I hate that rhyme. It makes me so mad. Okay. All right. Ultimecia's objective is to find alone. First time we met was the day I became a seed. We met again in Timber. We're thinking about Renoa, I guess. Alone's mysterious power, sending one's consciousness back into the past. All right. So that's right. We knew about this too because we knew that Alone was the one who was showing us Laguna. Now, I I don't. Other than the possibility that Laguna and Rain, I guess, possibly, 
Or maybe Julia? I don't know what happened to her. Oh no, Julia was like Renoa's mom, right? That's where... Ju Julia married a... General... What's his fuck? <laughs> Renoa's dad. Unless Squall is the son of Laguna and Rain. And like, it's all gonna somehow come around. I still don't know why we... Why specifically she was doing that. Ultimacy wants to use Alone's power. Even though for some reason she already can go back in time. She clearly can possess the sorceress. <laughs> we had a lot of arguments at first, but in time things began to change. Ultimisi wants to send her consciousness from this period further into the past. Maybe to like amplify her power or something. What is she gonna do there? You smiled when our eyes met. It's true she did do that. Time compression, of course. <laughs> So, <laughs> in order to understand the fi the plot of C Final Fantasy VIII, we must first have a basic understanding of metaphysics. Time compression, it made me feel calm, tranquil. It's time magic. Past, present, and future get compressed. What's going to happen to the world? Why do something like that? Renoa, give me one more chance! Can't even imagine a world where time is compressed. Well, what does that mean? Yo, Squall! You're not even listening. You're just thinking about some girl. You got Irvine and Selfie here. Even Selfie's doing a better job listening than you. So basically, all we have to do is prevent Ultimisia from getting a hold of Alone. Yeah, but... We're gonna go let everyone know at the garden. Squall's just pouting. We all know he's mad because she just ran to Cypher instead of him. But I mean, you know, we all care that she's... We care if she's okay or not. She's our homie. We all... We all... We played b-ball together. We all made a, a, a pact. That about covers the update, kids. Our task at hand is to find Alone. Then we'll deal with Ultimisia. I believe Alone's on the White Seed ship. That's right. We're setting out to look for it. I wonder where it could be. So it wasn't... It wasn't Esther. Maybe there were... Esther played some role in, uh... In the... The Windhill flashback that Alone was in. But she went off on, I guess, the White Seed ship. Which is just something, I guess. <laughs> that It must have been something Adia set up. We'll gather information for a while. Be prepared for battle at any time. And everybody else on the garden is just like, yeah, cool, Squall, we get it. We're, we're following this. Sorceress Dia is back at her home. She's probably not our enemy anymore. Just leave her alone. The game is making me feel like she's probably not our enemy. Yeah, I'll go visit Renoa later. I want to say this in front of Kistis and you, but... I don't know if some people will be so forgiving. Yeah. Of of Adia, I guess. Maybe it's out now that um, Sid and her were are in big love <laughs> that they're married. Really wanted to challenge Headmaster Sid. All right, I'll play with you. This is what he meant, right? Cards. We haven't played a. Uh, Triple triad in a minute. <laughs> Watch us lose because I forgot how to play this game. Well, we just want to take our best guys, right? I guess we got a new Cerberus card. That seems to offset Odin pretty well. Sacred's probably good to take. Oh, Diablos, and we'll just take this guy too. Yeah. I wanted him to go first, actually. Okay, so... This is a pretty safe move. I like Triple Triad, you guys. I like Final Fantasy... Uh, <laughs> I like Final Fantasy VIII. It's good. I like it. We're just gonna box this man in. And then... Probably pretty safe to put you here. And you, I guess? There's no way he's gonna beat us. Yeah. 
I'll go ahead and take this guy, Grinaldo, who I don't think we have. Do we not have you either? Or Oil Boil? Oh, you were like a boss. I remember you. This guy seems like the best, Grinaldo. Was it like a bee or something? What are you? <laughs> I don't remember fighting that. I remember fighting the Mesmerize also. He's like old enemies. Though it just seems like this game doesn't have a lot of monsters in it. I was ta wasn't I talking about this in the last episode? Maybe I was just thinking it, or the episode prior. It's like a bunch of, like the monsters in Galbadia Garden were like all monsters we fought way, way back. That red and blue and that floaty thing, that thing is like ancient. Am I supposed to go see Renoa? I guess we might as well. That's probably where we're meant to go. Is it this way? I always mix up um, Katawakis and the Quad. Yeah. Okay. Hey, baby. Reno, you feel so cold. Are you going to be like this forever? Isn't there anything I can do? You are so full of life. Watch her be awake. Hey, you don't even make a sound. I, this is what I want. I want to see the nerd squall. I want the nerdy squall. Give me this boy. Give me this man. This is like talking to a wall. Renoa, call my name. We got the little, like, um... What? I don't know really what to call this theme. It's like the Squall and Renoa theme. <laughs> it's the theme. It plays in the... the uh, the uh It played in the dance scene and some other parts. A bunch of other parts of the game. That's what it is. <laughs> Did Squall fall asleep also? Oh man, we're going back! Um. Yeah, okay. Oh, we gotta give, um. Squall's Junction, I guess, is going to Laguna. So we'll give. I mean, if it's just asking me to set another junction, we should probably give Kistis' to Kairos. Kiros, whatever. I don't. Doesn't look like I have any junction set up. Oh yeah, here we go. I think set junction party. It doesn't look like I have any junctions equipped. Did it de-equip all my junctions? I guess it doesn't matter if that's the case. Well, Squalls is going to Laguna. That's fine. And here we are. Why the heck do I have to do this? Where is this? What was happening last time we left off with Laguna? Because we have no money. Alright, well, I'm sorry. It's kind of my fault that we stayed at the hotel so often. But heck, I'm not cut out to be an actor. So you say, but we know you're really quite excited. Okay, everyone, take your positions. I can't believe this director making a movie with me, an amateur? The heck am I supposed to do? Are we shooting a movie? What is happening? So we were lucky I got the job as long as we make some money, right? Oh my god. I'm like a knight or something? Hey, look at you, not bad. This is a beautiful area, by the way. Look at that, like, big moon in the sky. This is your co-star playing the part of the sorceress. Are we, like, doing a dramatic reenactment of the sorceress war? Hi, nice to meet you. All we need now is someone to play the dragon. Well, I have a friend here. Hey, you. <laughs> I'm kind of in a squeeze here. The guy playing the dragon is sick. This guy really is an amateur director. What is this, amateur hour? Do you think you could put on the dragon costume and kind of just walk down here? I'll pay ya. <laughs> I guess. Just be on standby over there. Look at this guy, too. This is such a bizarre scene for us to cut back on these guys at. Uh-oh. 
Did it did a uh, Kiros Kairos actually get attacked by a real dragon? Is that what I'm meant to believe is happening here? Okay, people. Scene twelve, death of the sorceress. Ready? Action! Oh, Sir Knight, save me! I'll save you. Getting all kinds of nervous here. Oh, what's with this gun blade? I haven't used one of these since training. Yeah, I guess Laguna usually just uses a real gun. Kind of like this. Oh man, this isn't the gun blade. This isn't Squall's gun blade, is it? Not bad. I'll just put in some voiceovers. Are we doing like a like a Tokusatsu movie or like a how cheesy is this movie? Okay, bring on the dragon. There's about to be a real ass dragon. Come on, guys, the dragon. All right, here we go. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> Just like the real thing. Excellent work, Kairos. What a dumbass. This dragon is just waddling down the way too, huh? It doesn't seem very threatening, honestly. Was the costume that big? He's really taking this seriously. What a pro. <laughs> Looks like the real thing. I'll just play around like I'm fencing. Uh, take it easy, dude. We're gonna have to see. Obviously, the rule of Scooby Doo is going to require Kairos to now come running down the mountain. Is this thing real? Oh, no wonder. Oh, but th look, this is perfect footage, guy. You gotta commit to the bit. You gotta keep rolling here. Never stop rolling the camera. You never know what you might miss. Well, Sir Knight, it's all yours. And Sir Knight, it's been a pleasure, but I must bid you farewell. <laughs> Don't just leave me here. All right. What is this, Shrek? The Gunblade. Oh man, is Laguna like? Oh man. Oh whoa! Look at this. We got a little mini game here. I figured it would just be a real battle. Oh my God, this is so silly. That we're really doing more of this stuff, huh? It's the same as like Squall fighting the guy. Oh god, this guy does a lot of damage. Okay, I just need to defend properly. Damn it! Well, not yet. Pull yourself back up, man. It's so stupid. All right, we can get one big, one little swipe in there first. Okay. It's just the, the animation for defending is so short. Now, see, look, <laughs> these are just not good. They're cool, they're not good though. Ow, god damn it. I will beat this freaking dragon. They call me the dragon slayer, baby. Ow. So we just wait. Now. That was about as good as I feel like I can get it. <laughs> I can do this, damn it. This is If this is the rest of the episode, it'll have been worth it. I get a little bitch hit in there. And now. Well, we're close. All right, so just wait a little longer than I normally think. Damn it. Well, that one where he rears up, I think I can predict that. Now! Oh, well, I guess I just get a hit there. Now! Okay. Die. Or well, we got him down to half health. Keep taking it. If he's not gonna attack right away, I'll just keep slashing. Maybe this was the key. Yeah, we've got him in some kind of stun loop now. Stun locking a dragon. Now's my chance. Let's get out of here. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> this music, by the way. <laughs> oh my god. How'd you get down here, dragon? 
He's just such a waddler. Look at this guy. Stupid dragon, where the heck is Kairos? Hey, Laguna, what's up? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Wait long enough? All right. Time to kick some dragon butt. And I think we will do so on the next episode of Final Fantasy VIII Blind, man. We're finally on disc three, and we're doing some stupid shenanigans back here in Laguna's time. You gotta love it. Hope you guys did love it, and have a great day. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Later.